I don't know what exactly the qualifications are for a professional thrift store shopper, but as a child of eight siblings, I definitely learned a thing or two from my own mother about how to shop wisely and to save money at thrift stores and yard sales. And I have been shopping that way almost my entire life. I'm a mom of four, so I feel like I have learned quite a few tips on how to save money and find really cool stuff at the thrift store. I'd also like to say thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring a portion of today's video and I will share more on them later on. My first tip for shopping thrift is to know the right stores to go to. Know what is in your area and know what is not even in your area at all but is worth the drive. That is where I find most of the gems around me. They're actually not that close. I drive about 40 minutes sometimes to get to a good thrift store because they are generally outside of a very affluent neighborhood. I don't always wanna shop within the affluent neighborhoods and shop at the consignment stores and the antique stores because they know what they have and they're gonna ask a lot for it. I love to shop the stores that are just outside those areas because I get the nicer quality items but at a cheaper price. You also have to go frequently. Know when to go and go often. I learned that around the beginning of the month tends to be the best time to go thrift shopping because a lot of people are moving. People tend to donate a lot at the end of the month, so if you go in the beginning, you're more likely to find some cool stuff. Some stores in my area offer text or email alerts, so definitely check into that. Different holiday sales or even different colored tags will go on sale. There have been many a days that I have planned my day around the sales when they send me that text. I want to break away for just a couple of minutes to share with you today's video sponsor, ButcherBox, which have been a longtime supporter of this channel and I really appreciate it. ButcherBox is a delivery service that gives customers access to high quality meat at an affordable price and you never pay for shipping. With ButcherBox, you get 100% grass fed and grass finished beef free-range organic chicken, pork, and seafood, and more delivered to your door, which saves you time and money, like I'm talking about with my thrifting tips, saving money. ButcherBox believes in better. You can trust that the high quality meat that you put on your table each day is better for you and for your family, but also for the farmers, the animals welfare, the businesses involved, and our planet. ButcherBox offers two different box options. They have the custom box and the curated. You can either get the classic size or the big box. So in the classic box, you get to choose five cuts of meat, which is around eight to 11 pounds. You'll get around 24 meals out of that box. And then the big box, you can pick 10 different cuts that will give you about 16 to 22 pounds of meat and you can get about 48 meals out of that size box. And what I love to do is try to stretch my meals as much as I can, try to make pastas where you can incorporate the meat into it, or I will mix it in with a sauce with lots of vegetables and serve that over rice. And it really helps to take the meat and use that as a flavoring to the rest of the dishes. Sometimes we will do a roast or we will do a whole chicken and just enjoy it that way. But there are also a lot of other ways that you can stretch out these portions into at least two meals or at least a meal and some leftovers. I love how well everything is packaged in the butcher box package. It comes with dry ice and incredibly well insulated. So sometimes if I'm not even home, I know it's fine just sitting in this box for a little while. So in this box, I chose the St. Louis ribs, two of the grass fed beef bottom round roasts. Again, we love these. Also a boneless chuck roast. With Valentine's Day coming up, I actually snuck in a couple of filet mignons that my husband and I can enjoy. This four pack of beef top sirloin steaks I think will be dinner tonight. I have a two pack of ground turkey and I think my plan is to actually cook this up and do some lunch meal prepping with it. And lastly, we love their whole organic free range chickens. This is a family favorite and such a quick sort of hands off dinner. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, you can click my link down below for this month's exclusive limited time offer for ButcherBox, plus free shipping when you use that link. 
When it comes to shopping clothing at a thrift store, it can be very overwhelming when there is just so many selections to choose from. So I really know what colors I'm drawn to. I know what colors I like. So that helps me kind of narrow down as I'm flicking through the racks. And definitely check not only your size, but look at some sizes that are even around it, a little smaller and a little bigger. Different brands, size things differently and when you might be one size in one brand you could also fit into another and also people just don't you know the workers don't always put it back right where it goes or maybe someone picks up something they decide later on they don't want it and they just put it back another clothing tip is to check the clothing rack that is by the fitting room because you know that those items have passed somebody's test and maybe it didn't fit them right but at least somebody saw that item and thought that it was nice so they tried it on it didn't fit it wound up back on the clothing rack outside the dressing room so definitely check there too and on the note of dressing rooms some stores will have them out of order or they just don't even have them at all so in that case definitely dress to try on clothing if you know that's your goal wear something like leggings and a tank top with maybe a sweater over top that you can take off so that you can try on items right there in the store a big tip that i have for you when you see something that you like but you're not so sure about it just take it and put it in your cart and decide later because if you see it and you like it but you're not sure if you go back later, even that same day, it may not be there. Someone else might have grabbed it. But if you do take something, please go put it back where you found it. Try to look past the ugly. And what I mean is, if there is something about the item that you don't really like, is it easy to change? I found this brass lantern. So cute, so classic, but it was filled with all these fake flowers that aren't really my style. It would be incredibly easy just to take the flowers out and now I have this beautiful classic brass piece. Maybe you see a wreath and it's covered in things that aren't really your style. You can easily take those things off. Many items can be easily, you know, changed to fit your style, but my caveat is, know yourself because you don't want to take on clutter into your home you don't want to take on projects that you really have no time for so if you're not going to attend to it truly like that day or the very next day just don't even take it in at all i actually found a dress just recently and it was beautiful but it was a little bit too big and baggy so i debated in the dressing room should i get it or not and i told myself if i get this dress i'm going to go today to a tailor and get this fitted and that's exactly what i did it was so unique i loved it so i'm really excited to see how that turns out now when i go to the thrift store there are some items that i just look for every time i go i know that it's very likely that I will find them and I can kind of be more selective about what I bring into my home. So I'm talking about things like baskets. I love getting baskets at thrift stores. They are a dime a dozen. You can always find them. Now if you're looking for a specific size or you want multiples that all match, that might take a little bit more digging and a few trips. You may not get that all in one day, but I have found so many awesome baskets at thrift stores at such affordable prices. I love finding organizing containers at thrift stores, and these could be things like baskets or wire organizing shelving or bins to hold things in, even things like toy chests or different organizing furniture like bookshelves and things like that. I just really love sort of updating utilitarian items in my home in this way. So something that might just be holding, you know, paperwork, you could have a pretty container for that. Or a crock on your counter could be something, again, that's pretty. And you can sort of swap up these items and sort of improve upon what you already have with something that's cuter and prettier. Craft kits are another awesome thing that I love to look for at the thrift store. Again, I have four children, and so we have lots of birthdays, we have Christmas, we have different things that love I love to give them that keep them occupied and keep their minds going. Also for kids, kids clothing and shoes. I love shopping thrift for my kids. I shop it for myself as well, but I have found so many adorable things for my children. And oftentimes I can find really nice brands that I would never even have access to were it not that I found it secondhand at a thrift store. And kids, if you know, if you have them, they grow like weeds and sometimes 
sometimes they need a new wardrobe every couple months. So shopping thrift is the best way I find to outfit them and dress them really cute without breaking the bank. And lastly, if you are a book reader, I am myself and I love to pick up books at the thrift store for really inexpensive. And sometimes I have an ongoing list in my phone or it's just in my mind of books that I am looking for that I would like to read. But also sometimes I will just browse and see if something looks good. And a telltale sign that I can tell that at least somebody enjoyed that book is I'll look at the spine and if it's well worn and it looks like all of the pages have been flipped through, that can be a good indicator that it was a good book that somebody read cover to cover. So let me know down in the comments, what is the best thing that you have thrifted recently? And if you have any other tips, please leave them down below. I know that that helps everyone that is watching and reading. I love this thrifting community. And if you are new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe. And in my next video, I am going to share what I actually found and brought home in this most recent thrift trip. We found some really great stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.